Hi guys, hope you're well. Welcome to Do Daily, Monday Motivation. It's Des here, ready to attack a brand new week. Really looking forward to continue in last week's mantra of pushing on, but also look at different ways we can attack it going forward. Personally, I'm back at a place today called The Hook. Anybody who watched who's watched Do Daily a lot will know quite often on a Monday, particularly during the, the main lockdown, I'd come down here, it's nice and quiet. Lots of people out walking, dog walking and doing their thing. It's a place I can get down. It's not that close to home, it's not that far, but gives me the opportunity to get in a few miles. At the moment, done about four and a half miles. Really pleased to be out on a decent day. Not sure if the wind's interfering too much, but what it is doing, it's keeping it cool. Those grey clouds behind me aren't as um, scary as they look. Really dry, and getting in the activity today, despite that wind, really, really enjoyable. And I'm always talking, aren't I, about never missing a Monday. Do you know, really, really attacking what we do. Before I get into the crux of what I want to talk about, hopefully you had a great weekend. Personally, I got a chance to take a little bit of a break whilst there were plans to fulfill, places to be, Do you know, it was great that whilst we did those, you know, we got time out as well. We went down to the coast, stopped in the caravan for a couple of days, do you know, and it really, it really sort of helped. I mentioned on Friday I was feeling really rough um, after all the excitement. I think there was a bit of, uh, I was just feeling a little bit run down. Not sort of mentally, just physically. I'd, I'd been about helping to a lot of places, put in a lot of effort, do you know? And whilst I'm not feeling 100% today, um, you might have noticed my voice is a bit hoarse. I'm not sure why. Um, I'm feeling much better. And definitely so now I've got out for a walk. Definitely enjoying being here and uh, attacking the week like, like we do, do you know? We go again. We're just doing it, all those things I say, do you know, and that's what it's all about. All of a sudden, I feel reinvigorated by being here, by doing it, do you know, by letting those miles stack up. It's not, it's not the um, biggest effort I've ever had to make in terms of activity. Um, it, is, it is a walk, but there's reasons for that, do you know, I'm having to sort of almost hit the reset button a bit with the activity. I've been complaining, moaning, whichever way you want to look at it, about um, not being able to do some of the things I want to do in terms of activity. So what I'm doing today is almost going back to the beginning. I, I was kind of in exactly the same position this time last year, frustrated with a bit of illness, but mainly injury. So it's back to the walking, building the miles that way, easing back into the running. Do you know, I'll get out there at some point this week for a run, but tried one or two different ways recently. They've not exactly worked. So for me today, like I've said already a few times, it's just great to sort of go back to something I know, something I'm comfortable with. Whilst I'm always talking about getting out of comfort zone and, and pushing ourselves on to do different things. Do you know, I'm also sort of reiterating today, it's all right to remember things that worked. Don't be scared to take a step back if it does work. Do you know, if it doesn't work, that's where we push on. That's where we get out of comfort zone and really sort of make the most of every opportunity. For me, this is a chance to sort of, like I say, feel comfortable, relaxed in my surroundings and do what I have to do before sort of attacking the rest of the week. And I mentioned right at the start that I was going to talk about something that I spoke about on Friday. Do you know, I picked up something from a radio station last week, um, Five Live it was, listening to that on one of my journeys. Do you know, I picked up on the fact that there was a conversation there with some experts about how COVID has almost put everybody on the back foot. It's made it really, people are really sort of waiting for, to get COVID, do you know, for lockdowns to happen again, for all these bad things. And I think it probably has, hasn't it? I'm noticing around me right now, whilst there was all that excitement about coming out of lockdown, doing new things, 
I can see people slowly retreating back to old habits, particularly the, the old bad habits, you know, and, and forgetting exactly what walks. Personally, you know, for the whole of last summer, for the whole time I've been doing do daily until the last couple of months, and then everything came back on top of doing do daily. You know, I'd get out for a walk, I'd talk about it, I'd infuse about it, you know, but I've just felt myself um, not doing it as much or not doing it with the same intention and purpose, not getting out to places like this, you know, using the river. I've just done my, my route that you'd see so many times on Do Daily, but for the last three or four weeks, do you know, I've not done my 5K loop. And I always talk about how nice it is, how it looks different every single time I do it, do you know. And today I kind of woke up and I was thinking about this, this point about people being on the back foot. And I thought, I've got to get myself back on the front foot. I've got to get myself out there doing what I know worked. I had a conversation, just a brief conversation through, through messaging with a friend and saying, this is what really sort of focuses my mind. Whilst it's time out, whilst some people might look at it and go, well, I ain't got the luxury to go out in the afternoon or, or do this. I've got several jobs to do, do you know? Yes, it is a luxury in that sense. But what it helps me do is focus my mind, remind me of the determination and the effort I've put in so far to, to get to this point, do you know, and just to try, keep, try to keep taking it forward. Do you know, we can't rest on our laurels with this. We can't stay on the back foot. We can't wait for COVID and such things to keep impacting us the way they have, do you know. It's, it's not good, is it? Do you know, everybody's gone full steam ahead and they've forgot all those positive things that we can take forward. Mine, as I said, for the first 14, 15 months was I found walking, I found time out in the fresh air, do you know, was really, really important to, to keep me on top of things, do you know, to keep me sort of thinking, do you know, keep listening, learning, do you know, today I've listened to three or four different podcasts again, do you know, and I've, I've, I've taken something from every single one of them. Yes, it, some of them are deep, some of them might not be everybody's cup of tea, but it's what I want to do, do you know? I want to keep learning, I want to keep developing and understanding what makes us tick, especially what makes me tick, do you know? And like I've said so many times, do you know, getting out there, getting in the fresh air, do you know, picking yourself up, pushing yourself forward, even when you're not feeling 100%, even when you're not on top form, of course, if if you're really, really poorly, if you if you need to take that break, that is really important. But that age-old saying, "A change is as good as a rest." For me, it's not quite a change, but it's changing from what I have been recently. It's reverting back to what works so well, and that's really, really important to remember, isn't it? Do you know? In whilst listening to this conversation, it was kind of related into the Olympics. And look at the amazing success there, but there was a lot of talk about coaches have had to really sort of get into the minds of athletes, you know, because of the delays and what they'd done before, you know, and they was all trying to find different ways to sort of approach the Olympics a year on and forget all the old training methods and they had to really sort of get into them, in, into their minds and, and, and remind them of what had worked so well to get them prepared last year. Do you know, hopefully that makes some sense in what I'm saying. Do you know, it's really, really sort of important never to be on the back foot. Do you know, every single day I talk about sort of being positive, being forward thinking, do you know, and if we can do that, if we can face everything sort of head on and be try and be as prepared as possible for it. Do you know, I'm just, if I'm really, really honest, I'm just, after all this excitement, do you know, of, of the last week or so, done some really amazing, epic things, experiences that I've never done before. Do you know, I'm just starting to feel a little bit flat, do you know, and I, I kind of warned you guys through Do Daily and myself that, this can't happen, you know, so what I'm doing today is really sort of digging deep, going back to, I know, to, to what I know works. Do you know, it'd be easy for me to just say, no, everything's fine. Do you know, two weeks ago, before all that epic stuff, you know, did a cu couple of massive running events as well, so plenty of achievement. Two weeks ago, I, I was saying how good I'm feeling despite not very much happening. 
you know, how content I am with life and happy with the people around me, do you know, so I just have to remember that as well, don't I? Do you know, I have to sort of realise that we can be happy, do you know, there's always a bit of a come down after certain things, but that's where you have to sort of go back to where, what you know works. I don't like conformity, I don't like sort of routine the same every single day. Do you know, certain routines are great, certain routines create good habits. And whilst I don't like those, do you know, we have to do them, don't we? We have to do what we know works to keep pushing forward, keep attacking it, do you know, keep getting out there, getting in plenty of activity. One, I always swear by, do you know, and I've been a little bit guilty for, for several reasons, not all some of my own fault not all of them you know is never missing a monday so today i've got out there i've got the miles up i've got a mile and a half or so to walk back i can tick off a good walk a couple of hours like i say some might think that's a bit of a luxury but believe me i've been working in the meantime i've been doing this I've been thinking, you know, I've been processing everything and it's going to put me in good stead. Slowly finding that determination again to keep going. Hopefully the wind's not affected the video too much. Hopefully you've got what I've been saying today. We've got all the usual offerings to get involved in. I'll speak about those motivations as we go through the week. Um, you know, all the activity we try to encourage as well. It's all about staying on top of things, pushing on, from last week but using what we need to as i speak i've just been saying how nice it was without that rain it's just starting to fall so i'm going to check out for today guys if you've liked the video if you've taken anything from it please like share and subscribe do all the usual things to help me build this thing i'm just trying to be honest and relatable do you know and even after 18 months it's um it's not always easy for me do you know i can i can stand here and say yeah talk do you know do all these things but having it having lived a life the way i did for at least the first 35 36 37 years before i started thinking this way do you know it doesn't come easily i was brought up to sort of bottle things up in a way and sometimes i do that so it's still hard work, it's still hard getting the message across, particularly when you've got a croaky voice. So it'd be great to get that kind of support. Great if you can tune in again tomorrow, check out some of the past videos. Do you know, like I say, it's just me trying to be really realistic. Do you know, I used to say relatable, but it's been realistic more than anything. Have a great Monday. If you can get out for a walk, doesn't matter if it's raining, always say, skin's waterproof. Have a great week, you know, attack it from here on in, get in your activity and, and believe me, you know, you'll be flying from day one of this brand new week, just doing it. <laughs>